Well, good morning, Clicker Heroes. Look, I wanted to show you, just so you know, consecutive mornings, uh, how things roll for me on the game. And this is kind of how I wake up in the morning, and Clicker Heroes is just clicking along. But you can see the speed right here at the bottom, um, which means if I click the progress mode off, it's going to keep going, right? So immediately you're going to continue to gain some more levels of hero souls. And so what I do is I just go back down through, and uh, I just upgrade everything. It's not going to make a lick of difference, like, honestly, like, I just do this to kind of burn time. Um, I reset my quests and my mercenaries up here. So this is just kind of my, my typical morning. And while I'm doing a lot of this maintenance stuff, um, the, uh, the damage counter gets slower and slower, but you're going to get the last few levels out of this, right? So look through, looking for Kumawakamaru, anything, and that's a 4.77. That's actually a pretty decent one, so let's see here. That's a 4.14, 3.08, 3.08, 4 So let's go ahead and take this guy and slot him, boom, there, and then uh, junk pile the rest of them. Now, I know that was like a, a rare or whatever that was in there, um, and that's okay. Like, you don't, you know, it's it's you're not getting style points for having, like, the blue color or whatever. You're strictly trying to max that level out on the Kumawaka Maru. Um, let's see where he is here. Um, you just strictly want to try and max that out. Look, the, the ancient level is 23, but the relic level is 15. So the effective level is 38. Um, it still only puts us at, at 8, but it puts us closer to being 7. You know what I'm saying? And 7 in this game is better than 8. <laughs> um, let's look here. We I think we did all of our immortal. We did. We collected our souls. Let's just double check. I always double check the previous day in case for some reason I had a brain fart and didn't collect, then I always just go back and look twice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we did fill up. Um, we had Mr. Invisible uh, take the, the last spot. Um, I figured we would take a new player in, and uh, if he's active and, and, and wanting to progress in the game, we'll just keep him. If not, uh, we'll be looking for somebody else to join up here, certainly. So let's talk about... Um, let's look at our clan messages real quick. Dun, 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 but dun, 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 dun. Where is it at? Max rewards 6880S. Dang, 6880S. See, I need big Q, and then I think S is next. I don't know. I forget the progress, but that's a lot of souls, man. Dag on, donuts. Um. Three hundred fifty percent of six eight eighty s. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Holy cow! The highest level mercenary is forty one. Forty one is sick. I like that our clan is active in the messages. It's fun. It's neat to log in, and it's not. It's not crazy. So, all right, so look, here's here's where I was. Uh, if you watched the film from yesterday, and thank you very much for watching, I'm at, uh, I have 148 stored, and I can uh, ascend for 351. I think I was only doing like 12 billion or whatever. And I, and I don't know that I ascended a whole lot yesterday. I got wrapped up in League of Legends and and was uh, and played a ton of it yesterday. So, uh, so anyway, that's about how it normally rolls, though it normally doubles up. Um, and so again, like I use that little leapfrog method, um, and I don't really want to. Um, I don't really want to uh, take and ascend right now because this is still clicking off, and I'm going to get some good souls on there. But I'm going to do it anyway, just because we're double and we are shooting for the morning, right? So um, what I do is I go into here, um, and I think last time I did. Um, I'm pretty sure last time I did Solomon. So, uh, so I'm going to load up Juggernaut this time. Yeah, I'm going to do Juggernaut, and then um, I'm going to do Solomon on the next ascension, and then I'm going to look to Mammon and Mimsy. So let's queue up Juggernaut. And look at that. We went from like 4% click damage to 470% DPS on click damage. Not going to make a huge, huge difference right now because you can see how it's just kind of clicking through. Um but uh and that, that's the uh, like critical hits that are going you can see them because we're on the on the boost um, but once it stops see how it's going to 
just start creeping along here it's because we got rid of our hero souls here and the damage goes down and that's fine hey and we had a new high level too nice um and that's fine that it's doing that like because the, there's no hero souls so we're going to ascend and uh and you'll see these these now this 364 billion hero souls are going to fly to the top and that that's kind of where you want to be so then i just take and i reset again and i do this until i can make it all the way to wep wet um, I just kind of use Tree Beast as my dude, man. And then I just kind of get them going. Um, and then upgrade all the way through. You can see how it's easy. Each transcension just gets easier and easier. Or easy ascension. Yeah, it just gets easier and easier. So, <clears throat> And what's cool is your damage will automatically build by yourself. And this is where you do this offline build. So, uh... And I know at this point with with seven slash eight, like you know, seven or eight monsters to kill per level, I know that it's going to take about two and a half hours to to get up to where it's maxed out before I can ascend. And I, that's if I do nothing. Like I don't have to do anything else. No upgrades all the way down. Um, even though I will go down to Midas and upgrade uh, for the gold drops just to kind of keep things moving. Um, so if it's like it's almost 10 a.m. my time here, um, I'll come back sometime after lunch. And, uh, and just do the ascension and then set it and then leave it again. And that's just kind of how I play Clicker Heroes. It's not something that you need to sit at. Um, once you've got these auto clickers here, it's just not something you have to sit at your PC and, and stare at and click. It's just not that type of game. So um, there we go. And we'll just do a max upgrade. And you can see that's just kind of how I run through these. Um, as you get these levels pumped up here and hit some treasure chests, uh, you'll be able to upgrade these very, very, very rapidly. So... See where Midas is. The next chest should pop Midas up, and then we'll grab him and and keep rolling. If I get another chest, that might be what we upgrade next time too. If we go in here and we look at um, um, the tre the gold from the treasure chest and gold dropped, and I think there's one for tr actually dropping the treasure chest, but it's an expensive one to upgrade. So there we go from Dora. Like you can you can upgrade Dora, and we might actually go through and upgrade these um, these really expensive ones on the next upgrade. Make them all twenties, um, and we'll do that with Dora now. But if you look, it's 101k, and then it goes to 202k, 404k, basically doubles, right? Um, so you can see how it just starts to get really, really, really expensive. And we can do these. Oops, and it's not even moving our 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 top number. So that's kind of cool. We'll just go through and we'll just do them all to 21 since I messed up the one down there. And then, uh, but you can see how that, that percent chance goes up. Really, really, really helpful. And I probably don't upgrade these as much as I should just now that I'm thinking about it. It was already up there. Sniperino. And, you know, here's the thing. Like, I buy all the ancients. I buy them all. Um, but I don't buy, uh, these guys that are, are the idle DPSs anymore. I don't do it. Idle gold, idle DPS, auto clicker gold. I just don't, I don't mess with it anymore. It's not worth it. I don't do the hybrid build anymore. I strictly have the, what, what I call an act, an offline active build really. Uh, now that we've got the auto clickers and I mentioned, I think yesterday with the Christmas event, we were able to upgrade auto clickers like tremendously. Like I think in the first two weeks we had we all had uh, acquired at least three auto clickers and that that makes a huge difference in there. So so now I've fooled around with some other stuff just kind of in the background. You'll see that you know, now you can just level up these guys some more. And I've probably been what a total of five ten minutes in the game. Um, and then I just kind of at this point it doesn't matter what I upgrade because nothing else is going to help me. I hit upgrade and then that's it. That's it for the film. That's it for the upgrade. I'll come back in two and a half hours and I'll check up on stuff. Uh, hit my progression mode. Level a couple of things up. Run my levels all the way up to the top. And uh, and then I will go about my day and then come back. And it'll be dinner time and I'll do my, uh, my third ascension for the day. And then sometime before I go to bed, I'll do the fourth ascension, and I can get usually four good ones in a day. So, uh, anyway, it's, it's B2. We've been taking a look at Clicker Heroes. I hope that my setup has helped you, especially if you're a mid-game player looking to uh, move towards some of the late-game content. Then uh, then this is definitely a way to get there and to, uh, and to not have to be active in front of your PC forever. So, uh, have a great day, guys. See you.